Andrew Hedges of uh, Method Arts joins us today. I want to kind of summarize the, this story, if we can, before we get into the interview. The Department of Labor, state of New Mexico, had a big website that they contracted to outside sources outside the state, and I understand they spent a lot of money to have it built, millions of dollars. Yes, yes. Uh, then they had tons of trouble, lots of complaints that people said it wasn't very workable. Yep. You and a group of other web designers took a look at it mm -hmm. and, and found some interesting things. Tell us where you became involved. Well, I became involved. Uh, a colleague of mine uh, saw the, the article in the journal describing uh, what had kind of gone wrong with the contract. And uh, he contacted me, and we started talking about uh, whether we could do something better just using local people. And so you got a group of experts together. Yeah. Uh, you, you went into kind of a, a brain session and, yeah, and decided yeah. you could do a much better job. Then you went beyond that and, and you went to work on it, right? That's right. We spent a few hours planning uh, in about uh, the week uh, uh, before the Sunday that we, uh, we did this. Then we spent 12 hours on that day. We, uh, you know, we uh, kind of planned out what we were going to do and we uh, broke up into design and development groups. And we came back together at d different parts of the day. and. Got about 80% of the way through uh, building a, a working website. This is unique in a couple of areas. First of all, you guys are normally competitors, but you all came together. Secondly, you worked for free and donated your services. Yeah, yeah. And uh, third, you, you came up with something that I understand is very workable, much easier to the eye. Mm -hmm. And uh, will it be going online soon? Well, we, you know, well, it wasn't really our goal to, uh, to, you know, to win a contract from the Department of Labor or. Um, you know, to sell what we did, we we really wanted to uh, you know to highlight what was capable, you know, what the local people were capable of doing, as well as you know possibly influence them to do something a little bit better for the unemployed people in New Mexico. We've uh, we've been taking a look. Uh, we will take a look at the website side by side. You really can't get a, a great idea from, from from this shot here, but uh, we we understand that the old one was you know not very usable. The new one is is I understand very very good. What has been the response from, from state officials, if any, so far? Well, the Sunday following, uh, we call it a sprint in the industry, what we did. Um, the, the Sunday following the sprint, uh, the Department of Labor actually, uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, an article ran in the journal describing what we had done. And uh, based on that, the Department of Labor contacted us. Uh, we have had some conversations with them and with their IT people um, about what our concerns were about the website as well as uh, you know, what we did and some techniques they could use to, to make it better. Bureaucracy tends to move very slowly, very cautiously. Right. What was the general feedback from them? Do you think they're going to take your ideas and put them into use? I think, I think they're on the way to making something that's, that's better for, for people here in New Mexico. And hopefully we had a, you know, a part in, in doing that and making that better. And uh, more importantly, for down the road, do you think that maybe the uh, state officials will look locally a little bit more thoroughly before they contract things outside the state from now on? Well, that's certainly our hope, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, we appreciate the effort, and mm -hmm. please pass along our thanks to all the, all the different companies involved. I understand it was a hard-working, uh, long, uh, drug-out marathon, but you yeah. guys really accomplished a lot, and we yeah. appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thank you for coming in today.